Hello and welcome back my dear friends, it's me Otto with our with our campaign uh, uh, with our Ethiopian campaign in Europa Universalis 4. Uh, we are still in the Regency and we are waiting the time when we can uh, when we annex Damot uh, because after we annex Damot we will release Beja as a as a vassal because Beja will get us some nice um wait, do they also have some no they don't have uh they, it will will give us some claims on um on some countries that we really don't like to have claims to ah uh, this is really stupid i wanted to get them dongola uh yeah anyway <coughs> This is the only uh, the only place we don't have a claim on. We'll probably do that. Uh, also, Shandy. Do we want Shandy also? Because we keep these as a state. Uh, we'll probably give it to Beja. And take Bajuda or something like that. Ah, I'm not sure. I really don't know. Yeah, anyway. Let's build some spy network here again. Come on, Damot. Get integrated. It would be would have been great if you'd have uh, done this Hadramut one military access and we don't give it to them. I mean, the separatists here are still uh, doing all the work. What? Are you at war? No. That was ungodly, we'll go through there. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, the Bajan separatists are no concern for me. Angot separatists. Uh, are not really interesting. These will go away from by itself. Davao, yeah, this I will have to take care of, but the problem will be Harar. Nobles demand privileges. The privileges of the nobility have been under continuous assault as Regency Council has attempted to centralize more and more control. Yeah, that's good, Regency Council. I like centralization. The nobles have finally lost their patience and are demanding that they are given back what they believe is rightfully theirs. Accept their rightful claims, lose prestige, ignore their demands. National unrest plus two. Ha 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 ha. Lose loyalty. There. I really don't like both of these. I mean, we need the prestige because we are really low on prestige and on legitimacy. With a negative prestige, we will lose even more legitimacy. Mm, anyway, what should I do? We want a stable country. If we... Uh, friendly troops... Get us minus 1.55. If we... 
to the full cover. How much will we get on rest relief? <coughs> uh, we still have 1.1. 1 .1. That's not good. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's put the army maintenance back down. So we've got some profit. They will eventually rise. I am. Um, yeah, thank you, my dear. I'm sorry for this interruption. Oh, I have to eat popcorn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes very well, my dear. Yay. That mod will be annexed soon. And now we have 80% of hmm, these rebels. Uh, do we still wait one more month? Uh, we wait until it's 90%. Or after we annexed Damod. Um, yeah, I wanted to see my... Uh, not development, development, yeah. Mm, nope, I wanted to see devastation. Oh, we have prosperity. We have prosperity in Tigray, in the state of Damot. This is great. I hope the two new states will also have prosperity. I really am not sure what happen what will happen there. I mean it would be great if my central state would have prosperity, but they are still a bit behind. And Shiva There is a 35% chance each month, month that the progress is uh, plus one. What does prosperity do? Local development cost minus 10%. Ah, this would be great if the mod will get prosperity from Agu. <coughs> Local goods produced is better, so in our um, in our mine, we really want prosperity. We really need prosperity. Oh, this is great. This is great. So Agu has an autonomy of zero percent. Simeon has 3.4 percent. Yeah, that's great. Uh, nope, not institutions this year, no. Oh, here it is. This is... Part of the nobility livestock. We probably should... 
we probably should take away some of their provinces now at least one at least one of their provinces like the 25% provinces but not the grain because grain is good for nobility because this raises the like in Angot <coughs> but then in Angot the uh, rebels will be even stronger local unrest plus 5 then probably in Angkopa I mean they are both really crappy provinces More, it's more or less the same if they are not I mean even with the uh, nobles gone the production and taxes and trade won't get that much better so we could leave them there just I mean it was important to get back Gojam I believe yeah because this is coffee a good trade good Yeah, because we wanted to give this to the burgers as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's move on. Ah, uh, we should have the annexation soon. Soon. Why? Why am I not shown when the annexation will be done? This is strange. Nope. We don't give military access to any one of you. Go through somewhere else. With whom do you... I mean... Oh. Yemen, Los Angali and Hadramut. Probably I should have given them the military access, but then the Mamluks would also have access to my country. Yay, Tamut will be part of our country next month. Yoo Integrating Tamut. Yay. Perfect. So we fulfilled one mission. High income mission. Yeah, that's good. Construction time and construction cost sink. That's good. And here we have the possibility of another state. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. We'll call this. Because we want Kaffa, 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 Kaffa. We want the claiming Kaffa. Because there is also gold, gold, gold. <laughs> riches upon riches. So we want to increase this. Um, uh, we want to increase this. Do we have prosperity in Damod? Yes, we have. This is good. This is really good. So
so we got the 10 percent we get the 10 percent discount for prosperity but we don't get the discount of our ah yeah the, that's okay for me we don't get the discount of the burgers Oh, we could ask them for contributions, but this will cost us loyalty. We want them to get the influence and loyalty up. Can we grant them some land? We could give them Harer. This would... what would this do? This would give us 6.7% of loyalty and 10% of influence mm -hmm. <laughs> this will not be enough to get the loyalty of the burgers up to make the What we could, but what we could do is perfectly to develop it two times and then give it to the burgers. After that, the burgers should be more, even more loyal. Even more loyal than now. How much do they need to get the bonus? 60% I hope it's only 60 p ah we could probably yeah here it's more than 60% yeah so if we if we increase here once why doesn't it work ah 1.5 wow 1.5% and the second time 3.16 so now we should be able to give this to the burgers yes and they would gain loyalty and influence that's great so next thing we will raise these even further 1.3 <coughs> these and that even further now yeah we now only have to pay 60 We have a production of 2.5. Uh, we don't want to use our admin points because we want the... Uh, yeah, we are now at 20% only. I mean, we would have to do this even more. This is really bad. We will not start... We will not start to start the renaissance here in this... We have fulfilled a mission. Expand Ethiopia. We are so stupid. Ah, oh, we should have done this before. Conquer new land. State maintenance and harsh treatment. Yeah, let's do this as well. Uh, 
assemble an army of 80,000 troops. <laughs> Acquire subjects. Trustworthy ally. At least two countries aligns with Ethiopia. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should do that. <laughs> improve relations with you again so we will now first of all we will now release Beja Persia is our vessel and they don't like us but this will only be of short time of a short nah I wanted this here We also got 4,000 men of the mods. Will they be enough to put, uh, put down the rebellion there? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. With the gold mine we should have... Ah! Another thing that we can do is this. We now have more than 72% but we need 75% to get even more ducats out of them. Hmm. Also I want to at least do one click in the mod here. If we increase our army maintenance, will be will that be enough? I don't think so. But probably. The fate of the Egyptian Copts word has reached us from Egypt that the Mamluk Sultan is persecuting the Copts in his lands. This is not accept acceptable. As a fellow kingdom under the Patriarchate of Alexandria, it is our duty to act. The fact that the Patriarch himself is, a m is in Mamluk hands complicates things somewhat, however. A direct attack might place the foundation of our church at risk. Send a strongly worded letter to the Sultan. Okay. Avoid the risk of angering the Mamluks. We lose prestige. 
this is cause of war for war Ethiopia gained diplomatic insult causes belly on Mamluks Pooh. can we win a war against the Mamluks I really doubt it hmm. Let's look at the Mamluks. They are not ahead in technology. I mean, in diplomatic, they are ahead one step, but not much. Really, hmm. Let's see if we just put the rivals there. They are much stronger than us. We have a lot more manpower. We have a lot higher force limits. <laughs> they will overrun us. Stra send a strongly worded letter to the Sultan. Do we want do we want better? Yeah, we want that. We'll take this one. And we also get back with our... We have... Uh, we have... Um, our justifications for war with the Mamluks anyway, so... Um yes. Do we also want to claim here. Or here. One one. I mean we will attack him anyway, so If we have the spy network, can we claim it? Nope. Um. How fast will we be able to get some war to them? Not too... I mean, soon enough, in two years we are 15 and then we will get full claim. Yeah! We put the unrest down. We are such strong and good troops um, so this will get down to zero and then we will do these other things like in Davaro and Angot I mean 4.8 is too much for our military Hmm, an ambassador from the Mamluks. Today a Mamluk messenger arrived at our court bearing a, the reply of the Sultan to our concerns about the Copts in his land. The reply is far from the apology we had expected, however. The Sultan has chosen to show his contempt for the Ethiopian court and he ridicules any form of retribution that we might attempt. Hmm. We tried it with diplomacy, probably it's not the best way. Hmm. This is cause of war. Ethiopia gains 
10 prestige. Yeah, we need prestige. Let's just drop it now. We could imprison the ambassador. Then they will get an, uh, more justification against us. I mean, they should be rather occupied because they are at war at the time. So we probably, we probably really could get into a war with them. With Tempest. No, we can't. We can't declare war while we are at the Regency. Um, I really don't know what happens if we detain the ambassador. They probably declare war on us if we do this. Nah, we'll stay diplomatic. We are the... We are the... Less... Military... Militarily... Weaker. But they still have a war with Yemen, Vazangali and Hadramut. I mean, this seems quite interesting. And we even have now some money left. So, how about the mod? Need sixty nine. Where is the sixty nine? We can't do this. Oh. Okay. Sire. Oh. Okay. I didn't know we have still a loan. Yeah, but this also makes sense. Ah, uh, now we should make even more money. 4.16. Yeah, that's great. Disputed. Succession. Midribari. Can we... No, we can't. Because we don't have... No legal heir. He's 15. Yeah, probably we should stop today. I mean, we integrated our first 
our first vessel. Um, next time we will have some um, some rebellion, probably, because our air will get old enough. I mean, why do you do this? Why not improve relations here? This would be quite much better. Hmm, they don't like me, both of them. Yeah, anyway. Okay, um, we will see each other next time. I hope you enjoyed our um, our campaign. We will be soon prosperous here as well. Yeah, and I hope we see each other again soon. Yeah, have a nice evening. Sleep well. Goodbye.